All right, people, let's do this thing. Today, I'm gonna to walk you quickly through how to install PyTorch on a Windows machine with Visual Studio. This is an addendum to CSEP 546, a graduate level machine learning course. If you're not in that course, you found this some other way, please like click below. You can see the video, see the whole course for free. If you get far enough to get to this homework assignment, congratulations. I've got my Microsoft cap on for good luck. Let's see how this goes. The first thing you need to do is launch the Visual Studio installer and it'll pop up to this. Visual Studio Community is the version that I have installed and you wanna say modify. Okay, Visual Studio installer. This thing is fast. Here we go, now we're back in business. So we have to go to the Python development, click that and add Anaconda 3 64-bit. That's what we need to do. Step one, done. The next thing you do is you launch Visual Studio, which I have here. Tools, Python, um, Python environments. And that'll pop up this thing over here. Um, then you are gonna want to create a Conda environment. We just installed Conda and I'm gonna say PyTorch Visual Studio. And I'm gonna say that we want Python 3.6. So hit create. And then it's gonna go down here and do some stuff. Python Visual Studio, fantastic. Uh, remember the name, you gotta remember the name that you gave it or else you won't, well, I mean, just try to remember the name. So it's running, it's like trying to install it, blah, blah, blah. So the, the Conda environments, in case you're not familiar with that, it creates essentially like a little virtual machine, virtual environment with all the packages that you want to install for your Python deployment. So you could create a Conda environment for a particular deployment that you're trying to do, load the packages into it, and then you're sure you're not relying on dependencies that weren't in your environment. So it makes it easier to deploy and you can you know, share environments with coworkers and stuff like that so everybody can be on the same page. Working done. Okay, now the next thing you need to do is, it's still working, it's not done. Okay, rubbing the hat, rubbing the hat, rubbing the hat, rubbing the hat, it's still working, it's still working. Rubbing the hands, rubbing the hat, rubbing the hat. Okay. What am I gonna do here? Working done, okay. Oh, <laughs> it was verifying. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Okay, successfully created. Now life is beautiful. So the next thing we need to do is click on it. And then it says overview. You go down to packages, pipey. Pi -pi, pi -pi. and you type in pillow because we need to install the pillow imaging package. Okay, successfully installed pillow. You might also want to install Joblib. Um, you won't use it for this assignment, but we've used it in the past. And if you want to create an environment where you can run all the different programs that you've built, all the different assignment hand-ins, just add Joblib so you're not searching for it later. Now, if you want to use GPU, you're going to go get the CUDA drivers from NVIDIA. So you can just type CUDA, um, download, and just remember that if you do this, you're changing your drivers, your video drivers in some ways, and your mileage may vary. I did it last week and I had no problems. I did it a year ago and it kind of messed up my machine. If you're a little bit afraid of messing with video drivers, then just, just don't do this. It's going to save you a factor of 10 on your runtime, which might be significant, the next thing you wanna do is download PyTorch. They have this like cool thing here which lets you set up what you wanna do. We installed Conda, so we're gonna do Conda, Python 3.6, CUDA in this, on this particular machine, I'm not installing CUDA, so that's the way I do it. And it gives you, here's the command we're gonna to need to run. We'll copy that, and now that's the command we need to run in our Conda environment in order to install PyTorch. So how do we get to our Conda environment? Uh, start menu, Anaconda prompt, and then that pops up. Um, a window and so right now it says you're in base which means you're in the base environment but we've created this other environment so you have to type activate uh, PyTorch VS or whatever you named it I'm not supposed to remember and now you can see you're in the right environment so anything you install here is gonna go into this environment and you'll be able to use it later and you just type that command and hit go back to Visual Studio and go to Solution Explorer and now there it is, PyTorch VS. We've created it, so you can say activate environment. Now, when you run programs in Visual Studio in the future, they're gonna come up, they're gonna come up there. So what you might wanna do is say open interactive window, 
which pops that up. Then there's some code on the PyTorch page where if you run this, press print and you see that output, you know things are installed correctly. All right, we made it. Thanks for watching everyone. This will hopefully help you get started and good luck to you, all of you. Um, like, subscribe, etc., etc. Peace.